Once you're comfortable with rotation, we got to get ourselves really comfortable with a couple of other modes of uh, transportation, so to speak. Uh, the first one that we want to be aware of, that we wanna re really want to get comfortable with, is this move. So that's going to be number one, or we should say that's number two. Scale is number three, and we're already aware of rotate. And the cool thing is that there are buttons already in existence for us. We don't have to do any crazy interface stuff. We can use these buttons. For example, you can rotate, click and drag. You can even do this and press shift and it'll still work. You can move it. A lot of perspective distortion you might notice. Click and drag left, click and drag right, click and drag right, drag down, up. Scale, click and drag up, and it zooms away. Click and drag down, and it zooms toward us. Away and toward us. So we could rotate this thing and be looking at the bottom. You can rotate it, move it down, scale it out to look at the top. Now, when you're comfortable with this, you want to be using hotkeys. You want to be working quickly. And that's one of the ways that you'll see me working. So there's one really important thing you need to know before we move on from this point, and that's, that's this quick help system inside of ZBrush. Just hover over any interface item and press control. If you press control over any item, you get this little help paragraph or bubble. And in terms of the rotation, scale, and move, they actually have the hotkey. So in that second paragraph, it says, hold the shift key while rotating to snap the object to the nearest 90 degree. Hold shift, click this button, release shift, and drag, and go from there. Scale, same thing. Only in this case, it's a third paragraph. You can scale by holding Alt, clicking outside the object, releasing Alt, and dragging. Let's talk about the scale here for a second, because this one, I, I always say this is the uh, Richard Simmons of hotkeys here, because it's a little involved and, uh, and very different. If you're a Maya user, this is going to seem very strange to you. But it is the system inside of ZBrush. And uh, when I first started learning, I just I drilled myself for 10 minutes on exactly what I'm going to show you right now. And it was fine. Perfect. So the way the hotkey works, let's, let's first move it. I'm going to press Alt, click outside. That's the move hotkey. Or just move it into space. All right. Now, scale hotkey. Alt, click. And you can see I'm moving. I'm Alt is pressed. My uh, pin is on the Cintiq or on the tablet. That's my move hotkey. And now to change this to scale, I'm going to keep the pin down but lift Alt. So I'm no longer pressing Alt. And I'm dragging left, right, up, down. It doesn't matter. Each move has some behavior. And then I let go. So you start out like you're moving, Alt, click, then release Alt, and there you go. So I'm going to rotate this by clicking outside the model, pressing Shift. I'm going to press Alt to move it over, let go of everything. Press Alt, release Alt, and move from there. So stop the video, get yourself comfortable with moving it and scaling, try the hotkeys, Alt-click, Alt-click, release Alt, and just clicking outside of it. Military drill yourself, get through this, don't make this a hindrance. You have to solve this problem to move on to the next stage, and then we're going to get in to much more sculpting and really to the heart of what is important.